Hi guys, in this video, we'll be seeing how we can use AI and AI models to restore our old photographs and images. So the AI model we'll be using here is called GFP GAN. So this was a model which was developed by the team at Tencent. They also have released a research paper on the same called GFP GAN. Here is the research paper. You can go through this to understand in detail how the algorithm works, how the model is built and all those details. So in this video, we'll be mostly just having a look at the demo, how it works and how we can use it to transform our images. So to give you a basic context, GANs or Generative Adversarial Networks are machine learning models which can create new data. For example, you might have seen or heard about deep fakes. So deep fakes are nothing but images of people which the computer has generated. These are not real world people. So the computer tries to create its own images from a database of images and these images represent the real world people. So here in the paper GFP GANs, the authors use the same GAN concept and they add it to an application which can restore old images. So let's, this is the official GitHub repo, which the authors themselves have provided. So if we go through the examples, we get a demo which they have given here. So if you see this model does two things. One is if your photo is blur or it is not clear, it will try to use the concept of GANs and predict a super clear image, which is as similar to your input image and it also adds color so there are two things which is done add coloration as well as add clarity so how this model actually works is whenever you give your input image as an input image it reads all the pixels and it tries to create a new face okay based on the data you have so here there is a bit of predictive modeling involved so if your face or image which you are providing is not very clear, you won't get good results. So the quality of the results you get is more or less proportional to how clear or how less damaged your photo is. So let's get to the demo. Let's see how it works. So the good thing is authors themselves have given us a collab file, which you can just open in your browser. And they have written all the codes and how do you use it so that makes it very simple for us so let's open it up so once you open this file make sure you are logged into your google drive so that you can access cola and as this model depends on the gpu you would need a gpu instance so you can go to runtime and you can click on change runtime type and select the hardware accelerator as gpu once you do that you just need to connect so the authors have written well-documented code regarding how do we use this model and all the details regarding the prediction part. So let's just wait for Google Colab to initialize. Uh, it is done. As we can see, we have a RAM and GPU allocated to us. So first thing is we would clone this GitHub repo, which is done here, which is cloned. And there are the few dependencies which we need to install. So we just need to run this particular set. So let's wait for the cloning as well as the dependencies to be downloaded. So this may take some time based on your collab instance. Okay, the installation is going smooth. The installation has been done of all these packages. Okay, so we'll see the next step. So the next step is, let me just clear this out for you. Yeah, so the next step is how do we upload our own images and how do we get predictions out of this model? So if you see the files folder here, you have your GFP GAN folder, which you just cloned. And here there's a folder called as inputs. So in this folder, you would need to put all the images which you want to predict. 
So you can do this in two ways. You can click on upload and upload your images or else the authors have also given a code snippet wherein you get a UI and you can upload your code, upload your images. So we'll do that. So just to give you an example, I have this image here with me. So this is a pretty old image. And if you see, there are two faces here and these are pretty blurred and it's not even visible. So let's see how well our model works on this picture and what results we get. So we run this particular cell, the upload image cell. So what it does is it just uses Google Colab Files API to upload any file and save it to this particular folder. So you can just click on choose files here and choose the photo. I'll do this and wait for some time. Yeah. So if you can see, it says that uh, successfully moved your image to inputs and upload. There's a folder called upload here and here's our image. So once this is done, we just need to call the uh, inference pipeline. So basically how this works is there's a file called as inference GFP GAN. So this file would contain the logic for a prediction. So this is pretty simple. You just run this command Python inference GAN and the I tag stands for the input. So we have our inputs in input slash upload folder and then the output will be stored in the results. So there are a lot of other options, the optional arguments which you can refer through, the authors have provided them. There's a upsampling rate, there's a version, there's a suffix, everything can be done here. It also allows you to only restore faces and only return the faces also. But here, this is a simple one. This will just process your email and give you the results. So this will just run this file. Yeah, so it, what it basically does is it picks the photos from your upload folder, runs it to your model, and then saves it to the results folder. So as we are running this for the first time, this may take some time, but subsequently this will be faster. Yeah, so as we can see, uh, it is processing our image and it shows us that the results are in the results folder. Okay. So now uh, directly, there are a few scripts which the author have, have given to just compare the images. So if we see this was the, it detected two faces in our image and this was the old face and the new face. And if we see there's a day and night difference between these two images, that's the power of a GFP GAN. So even the second one, it was very blurred and this is the clear. So remember one thing, as there is some amount of prediction left, you cannot definitely say that this photo is 100% accurate. No, there may be some changes, but it is as accurate as possible given this blur image. So this is just for visualization part. Now let's see how can you download these images. So as we know, the results are stored in this results folder. And what it does is you have a folder called as cropped faces where your faces will be stored. So just to make it simple, I'll download this whole results folder itself. So this is a simple a snippet for that. I'll just zip the folder, the results folder, and then download it as a zip file. So let me just run this. So what it does is it basically just creates a zip folder, a zip file out of this folder and you can download it out. Yeah, I'll just save it. Let's see uh, what were the results we got. I'm exporting this here and go to the results. Yeah, and these were the super clear images which our model gave us. So if you see it automatically detected the faces and also made them better. This is the complete image, the, yeah, the processed image. So let's compare this with our original image to give you an idea of the quality of results we got. So if you see, this was our input image and this is our output image. You can clearly see the difference that it works pretty well. So yeah, this was one example. Let's see one more example of this image. So this image is black and white and it has a lot of faces. So let's see if our model is able to identify each of these faces and restore them. So the method is uh, the same. We just upload our files once again. We'll just run this code cell. 
and this time i'll upload this um, group photo so this will just replace our previously updated uploaded image once that is done we'll just again run this inference code yeah so it is processing our image and the results are stored in the results folder let's just visualize what were the faces it detected yeah as you can see even here the predictions were super awesome so it detected all the faces and it reconstructed them as close to the original one as possible and as you can see the differences are really huge here so let's download this folder once again and let's see how it compares to the original one here this might take a bit more time because we had six or seven faces here in our previous image we had only two so let's wait for the download process to be completed and then we can have a look on the results the download is complete i'll just unzip this as a file and let's see the restored faces and if you see these faces are super clear you can make out that some of these faces may not be as accurate and there are some malformations here but these are as close to the model as you can get let's see the overall image how it works yeah so if you see this image these faces are well defined they are clear as if they were clipped on a dslr of today's generation yeah see but if you see there is one face which the model missed out so there are some disadvantages or the model cannot be 100 sure that it will recreate each and every face but if you see it did most of it it missed out this particular face so if we just compare it to the original one let's have a look the photo on the left is the original one and that on the right is the output from a model so as you can see the results are significant and the, yeah the results are actually good so that's the whole thing uh, in the code part you just need to clone this particular git repository gfp gang and you need to upload your photo to a particular folder and you just need to run this particular script that is the inference gfp gang so you can use these scripts and you can create your own applications or own python scripts where you can even process multiple images at once and you can do all the other stuff so the authors also provide a simple ui based web app if you can see there's an online demo at uh, basedn.co so this is just for uh, demo purpose which the users have given it does the same thing you give it an input uh, input image and what it does is on the back end basically this also runs the same script but as a web app so it runs your processing in the back end and gives you a result so you can directly download this image yeah so this would be your clear image. so if you see the results are same as what we had run in our collab so this face was not reconstructed remaining all were properly fine yeah. so this is just for demo purpose that's what the authors have intended this for but if you want complete control and you want to extract even individual faces at, as we had done then it's a great thing to move on to collab because it gives you all the flexibility to use your own things and also it is free so you get a gpu runtime which runs for a long time in collab at least even in the free tier yeah. so this is the whole thing about gfp games if you want details on how it works and what are the actual implementation you can go through this paper it's beautifully written it has all the terminologies how did they develop it so and what are the features and this is the basic architecture so if you see it uses the facial components it uses adversarial loss and using these two it tries to create a new image which is as similar to your given face as possible 
Yeah, so you can go through this paper. You'll get all the details, the mathematical intuition behind it, how was the training part done, and all the details. And so that's it for the video. Thank you. I hope you liked it.